I'm not sure the words have been invented to describe what it's like to be black in America. I used to think that I had a strategy, right? Is keep the voice calm, like be like, hey, I am now reaching for my wallet. My keys are on the roof, my hands are up, officer, walking them step by step, and that still wasn't enough to keep him alive. As an adult black male living in this country, my biggest fear now is leaving work, leaving the apartment, wherever, walking down the sidewalk, making eye contact with a white police officer who takes it as a threat, getting out of his squad car, and then unloading his entire clip into my chest because I quote unquote threatened him somehow. Like thinking about just situations that I've been involved in, in terms of police, and like how I'm very thankful that it didn't go the way that, you know, Sandra Bland's went, or Alton Sterling, Eric Gardner, you know, Oscar Grant. I think about these people and how it didn't end up that way, but it ended up in a different way where it embedded in me that I'm not safe because of my skin color. And my initial feeling was just numbness. At some point, when there was a whole string of these occurrences happening, I started to become numb to it. And now I'm like numb to being numb. My initial reaction after hearing about the second one was just numb. Like, okay, again. And I think that's the saddest part is that I'm just numb to it. I feel uh, disassociated. Like, it's this weird feeling where, like, I, I feel like I'm watching myself go through everything. Honestly, my first thought was, like, this can't be real, so I didn't believe it. It was unbelievable in the fact that it wasn't unbelievable. It's, it's getting crazier and crazier that people are able to um, ignore it. When I first saw it, I, I don't know. I just started, uh, I was freaking out. I just started crying. I can't even describe how I'm feeling as being sad. It's more so angry and exhausted. It's just hard, it's, it's getting to the point where it's hard to even keep up because it's happening so frequently. How many times does this have to happen for like something else to happen? I don't know. I really don't know. Shit, do y'all? Because I really don't know. They think they can keep getting away with this because they are getting away with it. They are afraid of us. We're not given the benefit of the doubt because they assume that we're going to act a certain way. I think they look at dogs as people more than they look at black people as people. Absolutely, 100%. Because any emotion for a black male, happiness, sadness, you know, it's, it's almost too much uh, for the people around you. I feel like I have to put on a face. Like if I'm around my friends and if they say something that like could be like could be stepping on the toes of like offending me and then I would feel bad that I was offended. We as people have to be strong times two, strong times three um, because we have to be programmed to either not feel a certain way when things happen and carry on as if everything is okay when it clearly it's not or we have to be able to you know, muzzle that emotion and save it for a more appropriate time or a more appropriate environment. Alton Sterling's son was crying on national television and his mom sat there and continued to talk about how wrong and how out of line his death was. And I saw someone say, a white woman say, if I was her, I would stop and console him. And it was just a reminder to me that they don't live in a world that we live in. And that, it was hard to like explain to her that she can't, she's balancing now being a mom and a father and consoling her son and dealing with her own emotions. Like we don't have a choice because we can't, we don't have ownership of our own lives. And that's fucked up. Selfish. They're thugs, they're cowards. You're inhumane. 
I mean, the one word that comes to mind is just ruthless. Frightened, scared, small. Even with all the equipment on, you know, the badge, the whole force behind them. Like, why are you so scared? Where is your empathy? Where is your sympathy? Where are those human qualities? You have no connection to be able to do that to someone so quickly. They are inhumane. I don't even consider them, they're not humans anymore as far as I'm concerned. Those are the ones who are not human. Human beings have the potential to do so much great in this world. I just, I feel like we have the potential to be so much greater and better and higher than what we are currently. Like if we could just come to a consensus, like as America, <laughs> to just be like, this is really fucked up. And as white people, as Asians, as like Native Americans, as everybody, we can just come together and agree this is really fucked up. The way this country was built, it wasn't in our favor. It still isn't in our favor. Um, and it's not going to change until systematically, from like the very, very root, there's restructuring.